Yeah, I'm not going to go and start stealing stuff out of the Great Khan's uh, main house here. But okay, so there seems to be there seems to be does seem to be plot stuff happening here with the Great Khan's, but I I heard you try ah. to convince Khan Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that. He does look like he's wearing some goofy ass face paint. What is it you had in mind? You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. So what do I do? Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular. Me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. And Eichel. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. Aren't you convinced already if we're having this conversation? I have my doubts about Caesar, yes, but I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. Yeah, it's a good point. I mean, the guy's actually playing this fairly smart, other than the fact that he's talking to us, a complete stranger. Uh, but, you know, that's how video games work. you got to talk to the player character to make things happen. What would convince Jack and Diane? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jack and Diane. They joined the Great Cons in the Heartland. You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come. That is around. not a coincidence that they're called that. That's an intentional reference. What about sweet Melissa? Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. These guys are uh, a bit of a sausage fest over there, if you know what I mean. You might be into it. You took the confirmed bachelor perk. Okay. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Papa. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. How would I do that? Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the great cons, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. Keep that in mind. I would too, if I were you. So we're on a great conquest. Find a way to disgrace Carl, disgrace Carl in front of Papa Khan. Papa Khan. Papa Khan. Papa Khan. Papa Khan. Sit at his desk. This will change everything. I've disgraced you by sitting at your desk. Don't mind us. This would be it right here. I just don't see how I, uh... I don't see how I'm detected. He's asleep. Well, they're talking to me through that door, though. Boy, this whole political intrigue thing is pretty easy. This journal consists of detailed records and observations from Carl's time with the Great Cons. Many entries go into great detail about his opinions of their savage, barbarous customs, and at several points he waxes philosophic about how it was very likely that Caesar's Legion will have to execute the lot of them. Is 
So yeah, no, I realized that to do the the quest with the uh, Brahmin was going to involve hanging around there in Midland, but I like you, stranger. You're wandering around. Uh, I like you, stranger. You're sitting at the throne of the Great Khans, which should get you freaking killed. Did not turn them hostile. I had a brief thought that doing that as a joke might be a very bad idea, but no, it does not appear to turn them hostile. Yeah. Hey, I realize it's the middle of the night, Papa Khan, but uh. You've been doing good things for us. Don't think I haven't noticed. What can I do for you? I know, I know. You should look at. The, I was trying to turn on the lights, so we're not just staring into the darkness. You should look at the. I think it's uh, it's Carl's journal. It's full of interesting. I think it's very revealing. Look at the two opinions. Oh, I'm so glad to see this. <laughs> Filthy savages probably have to decimate the lot of them. Are these the words of our friend Caesar? Great cons, drive Caesar's dog out of our camp. If he's too slow to flee, kill him. Watch out! Come on, watch out! Interesting. <laughs> huh? I didn't have to get personally involved. can't pick that lock. I was thinking it would be good for experience, but uh, nothing worth uh, the great risk that would be involved in stealing something from the Great Cons. Ooh, this would be more like it, but uh, I'm going to spend the night in here with uh, Papa Khan. Alright, so I lost karma, but I think overall I gotta be doing pretty well karma wise. I'm, uh, after all, I'm trying to uh, stop the Caesar's Legion. I would think that pretty much anything that doesn't involve joining Caesar's Legion would be good for your overall karma. How do I find my overall karma? I'm accepted, idolized, accepted, 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 vilified. Where do I go to find my, uh... Ah, I'm a, I'm a legend. Very good. Uh, I think it's from killing all the powder gangers. I have very high, uh... Whatchamacallum... Yeah. Stats. So, we convinced them that that particular guy's a jerk, but apparently we still need to convince Jack and Diane and whoever the other girl was. Sweet Melissa, I think. I keep hoping they'll actually get to find uh, Great Con herself. You're a Great Con. You're a Great Con. You are a Great Con. I'm trying to find named Great Cons. Here are some rocks probably a cactus here that I could pick or maybe not Let's sit in the royal outhouse the royal throne you just is he the guy I've already been talking to though yeah, he's the guy I've already been talking to. It's good to have you here. What can I do for you? I'd like to talk to you more about the Great Cons Alliance with Caesar. What do you want to know? Nothing. 
never mind. Suit yourself. I thought maybe it would make a difference if Until I, uh... You know, it's like... Ooh, lad's life. I was hidden, and I think I had disturbed him by stealing his magazines. Yeah, he's got a lot of magazines. Magazines are good. Who is it that's detecting me? It is him. He knows I'm here. He seems to be trying to forget, but he just can't. Also, review gives you a temporary gun boost, so... Ah, fuck it. I'll come back and get it when he's not in here. And if I don't remember, pff, it's not that important. I've got Millsarp reviews that I haven't used already. Is this the big house I've already been in? I mean, where are these... Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Yes, yeah, the long house. Or you be the main, main, main. Yes, yeah, the locked door. I saw the other side of that. Really not worth the trouble, but, uh. It's nice they got, like, you know, burners and stuff. Pictures of great guns shooting people. Okay, I said I might come back. I probably should have waited a little longer. Can't find frickin' um, where any of these named cons are. Oh, maybe they're over here somewhere. You would think that if this is like con land, that they'd be hanging out. Oh, yourself, lady. Hey, I picked some prickly pear. Oh, I'm a creeping mouse. Okay, nothing much going on here. Maybe we wait around for these things to open. I don't really know where to go to find more con stuff. I guess like this looks like it could be it. Yeah, never mind. It's like the main place. Hello. Hi. Fuck Benny. We'll make him pay for stabbing us in the back. I guess he's one of those cons who was personally betrayed by Benny. Fuck Benny. I guess he is another one. Nice Hope no Paul drivers tonight. 
Uh, but we'll enjoy that one if he ever watches this video. <laughs> it's robot. It did sound sarcastic. I'm not sure why. Here's probably where they're growing their illegal chems. Hey, let me talk to your butt. Fuck, fuck Betty. Go. Don't make him pay for Betty. I thought she was saying fuck you because I was looking at her butt. It's like, yeah, I kind of have that coming. It's like the very first, uh, well, I guess the second, if you don't count the intro as its own video, video of Let's Play Rumble Roses, where you stare at Reiko's butt, and then she notices, and like, oh! Nice robot. Are you sincere? Your friend's cute. Is she single? Good to see you again. Huh? So, I think he thinks my robot is cute, wonders if it's single. Yeah. Yeah. I like you, stranger. You've just... Huh? Nice robot. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Huh? Nice robot. What? I wish there were more like you. You say anything about my, uh, other companion? Nice robot. Wonder if she's single? Nice robot. I like you, stranger. Oh, probably not. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. These all appear to be generic cons, but at least I've found, like, Con Alley here, to, where more cons are hopefully going to be located. Uh, and I hope I'm just not heading back up for con stuff we've already seen, but, uh... I don't understand how we're supposed to navigate around here all that well. This might be a little easier in the day. Mine's coming back up to the same places we've already been. Oh, let's see these doors. Ah. Your friend's cute. Is she single? Jerry the punk. What do you want? I want you to get some sun, buddy. What can you tell me about the great cons? I can tell you they're a bunch of big dumb jerks with no appreciation for art. <laughs> I mean, can you believe their initiation? Sounds like you're not happy being a great con. Maybe you'd be happier somewhere else. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I can find my true calling someplace they'll appreciate my poetry. Someplace like the old Mormon fort, maybe. Yeah, sure. Do you think the followers of the apocalypse would take me? Remember all those books they brought us when they visited our tribe. I could ask them for you. You do that? Thanks. I mean, I'd go myself, but what if they said no? <laughs> the cons wouldn't take me back, and then I'd have nobody. What do you think about the uh <sighs> Sovereign Saren's flagship? Huh? Wait, what are you talking about? We're allied with Caesar now? <sighs> Typical. Nobody tells me anything. What are you doing? Uh, nothing really. Just trying to psych myself up to try my initiation. Again. What is this initiation? Everybody has to do it. Well, everybody wants to be a con anyways. They toss you into the ring there and beat on you for a solid minute. If you survive, you're in. It sounds so bad a minute. Sure, maybe not if you're some hulking reprobate like Regis or big to the gills like Jack. Jack and Diane? Five times and still haven't made it. You mean you die every time? Oh, look, it's the conformist tool. Oh, jeez. I really don't like this guy. Bye. Wake him up and he says, Hey, old guys are. Oops, I mean. Yeah, uh, so not that big a fan of this guy, honestly. He seems like kind of a pain in the ass. So these doors open up. Uh, oh. I'm your turbo lover. There's a lot of illegal chems around here. I mean, they do make this stuff. I 
Come on, you guys. Jack, Diane, two American kids living in the heartland. Why don't you guys give me fairly obvious clues as to what I need to do to get you to side with me against the Legion? Well, I'm detected, so I probably don't want to go stealing in here. Just a regular great con. Still no named cons. Looking for really important figures in the Naughty Empire here. Come on. <laughs> Sad thing is that even when I play Rumble Roses Double X, occasionally I try to get uh, Xbox achievement points, so I have to get money for the Lamba created characters instead of playing as the characters I actually like. Oh, it's just in here. Oh, that's my sidekicks. I was wondering who you guys were. Honor student. Bottle cut. Well. Shit, dude. Let's, uh... Quest completed 15. Let's go over to, uh, quests. Oh, my papa. Our locations are Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Some of them are at the drug lab. I mean it's the Red Rock drug drug lab is a great con location, although it didn't say accepted there, so I figured it didn't count as a con location, but no, it would be, wouldn't it? I like you, stranger. Stood by. True to Kaiser, man. A lot of really cool stuff to steal in here. That's a pot. I thought I said jet. Cave fungus. Those aren't really worth anything. Today's physician sure is. Programmer's digest is definitely. Steel quote flower. <laughs> Pretty flowers. This is basically just stuff that's good to sell later. And there's all sorts of weird noise going on outside of my door, which is annoying. It's Jack and Diane, two American kids living in the heartland. Oh yeah, life goes on long after the thrill of living is gone. Probably don't want to risk pickpocketing them unless they got something really good. Hey. Hey, man. You're not one of my regulars. What do you want? I want to pack your refugees in nice and tight. I've been told you're someone I should talk to about stopping the cons lines with Caesar. Hey, it's not like I'm super attached to working with Caesar or anything. But if he'll stop his patrols from harassing my runners... I'm all for it. Caesar isn't going to let you run drugs as an ally any more than he supports it now. He hates chems. I haven't heard anything like that. Do you have any proof? Not yet, but I'll find some. Okay. Come on back when you do. What does he do here? We keep the great cons from falling apart, essentially. Jack manufactures the chems. I organize the runners in the shipment. To your drug dealers. We're supplying things people want in exchange for things our tribe needs. Don't judge us. What do you sell? Who we do you sell to? We make regular me? shipments to a lot of settlements around the Mojave. A lot of our business comes from the fiends lately. Personally, I think they're kind of creepy, but Papa likes the fact they get all hopped up on Psycho and harass the NCR patrols. Good to know. Like what? 
Tell me a little bit about the great cons. I'll spare you the history lesson. Talk to Papa Khan if you want to hear that story. Things have been rough for a while now. Even with Jack working all the time and my runners making deliveries daily, we're barely getting by. Maybe this alliance with Caesar will help, but I don't know. Why are things so tough? Red Rock Canyon isn't exactly the most hospitable place. There's no food, barely any water, and nothing anybody wants. We used to send patrols out to acquire supplies, but ever since Bitter Springs, there just aren't enough of us left. So about something else. Sure. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about Saren? Yeah, maybe I can get work for them. Hmm. You look like you could handle yourself in a fix. All right, I'll tell you what. Anders, one of my best runners, is overdue to report back. If you can find out what happened to him, I'll give you some real work. Sure. About three weeks ago, I sent Anders southeast to find a route into Arizona to open new markets for our product. He should have been back two days ago, but there's been no sign of him. Okay. Thanks. Prove you're liable on this, and I'll have more for you later. I have decided that just based on the fact that it's amusing that they have the same name as Eagle's Heel Persona, I want to help the Great Cons, despite the fact that I believe they were involved with betraying me. They were they were betrayed by the guy who actually killed me, but they were like running with him. So I want to talk to Diane. It's time to talk to Jack, and then move on to the Heartland. Whoa, new guy. Hey, it's Riker. I'm here to ask you to publicly oppose Papa Khan's alliance with Caesar. Huh? Look, man, me and Diane, we don't dig on that politics stuff, savvy? We just make the product and make it get to a good home. Sure, Caesar's a drag, but as long as we've got each other, we don't care who the top dogs roll with. Oh, yeah, life goes on. But you won't have each other. The Legion will kill you and sell Diana to slavery as a prostitute. Oh, shit. I wish I could back off and... Dude, wait, what? That's totally cock-a-doodle, man. You been huffing fumes in the magic bus or something? Huh? Ah, so I can come back and try that later. What is it to you... What is it you do here? Do? We don't, like, do anything. We make the magic happen. Okay, what do you make? We make the happy stuff. What do you need? Jet, psycho, a little med X to ease the pain? Your drug dealers? Nah, man, more like drug suppliers. Yeah, other folks sell them. Diane's mostly in charge of that. Who's Diane? You know what, I really don't care about most of this, but... Guess I just had a natural talent for it. When I was a kid, these cats called the Followers of the Apocalypse came to our camp. They knew all kinds of kooky, scientastical stuff, so this guy's really I ate up irritating. all the chemistry they could teach. Diane had the head for business, so we teamed up. I ate up all Diane I could teach? No, sorry, never mind. Diane's my girl, man. We've been taking care of each other our whole lives, ever since our folks died. Now we keep the cons and caps together. Diane handles most of the transactional elements of this little enterprise, but I'm always in the market for new recipes if you've got the spark. They're family, you dig? They've always looked out for us, made sure we had something to eat and a place to crash. Papa may look like a big angry bear, but he's a softy at heart. Regis is cool, scary, but cool. The rest are all pretty groovy, even little Jerry. Groovy? Who's Jerry? Uh, the other dudes call him Jerry the Punk. That's kind of harsh, though. I think he's just a sensitive soul that needs some love. He's usually down around the proving ground if you want to say yo. I don't know why you'd want to. He's really annoying. I know a few recipes for chems you might want. I could teach you. Right on. What have you got? They're all real groovy. I could teach you to make slasher. Right on. Let's have it. I was just going to get a bunch of experience for selling them these things. Grew delicious. That ought to rake in the caps. What do I owe you? Uh. No charge, just helping out. Right on, right on. You're a pretty hip cat. I earned karma for giving them drug recipes. Take it easy. So I want to save my game and then 
see if I could be getting more caps out of this guy. I'm getting karma for giving him free drugs, which seems kind of ridiculous, but 